Hey there, YouTube. Before I get into the video, let me remind you, if you like my content, hit that site like and subscribe button. And also, if you feel the need to support me, hit me up on my Patreon at patreon.com slash Uncommon Ramen, capital U, capital R. Uh, I do all this in my free time. So any amount of support can help me bring more of this content to you more, more often. Okay, today we are going to look at... Uh, I guess part three of three uh, Kellen uh, series, uh, unless they do a Kellen in Thunder Junction, in which case you will see a fourth video for Kellen, because I am a masochist, I guess. I think Kellen's cool. Anyway, we have Kellen Inquisitive Prodigy. This is two, a green, and a blue for a 3-4. It has an adventure tail, the suspect for green and a blue. At sorcery speed, investigate. You may play an additional land this turn. On the creature side, it is flying and vigilance. And whenever Kellen Inquisitive Prodigy attacks, destroy up to one target artifact. Uh, if you controlled that artifact, or sorry, permanent you get to draw a card. Um, this one's pretty obvious. We're going to probably do clue-related strategies so that we can sacrifice, or well, actually destroy clues via his ability, but also it gives you the flexibility to destroy other people's artifacts. So let's just jump into it. We'll do creatures. Oops, that's a creature. That's also a creature. There we go. Starting with Academy Manufacturer. For three, this is a one three. If you would create a clue, food, or treasure token, create all of them instead. Adrix and Nev, twin casters. Two, a green, and a blue. This is a two two with ward two. If one or more tokens would be created under your control, twice that many tokens are created instead. We've got AC Tyrant of the of Gyre Strait. I thought it was the Gyre Strait. Anyway, uh, four, a green, and a blue. It is a 5-5. Five, five. You may play an additional land on each of your turns, and whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you get to draw a card. We got Briar Bridge Patrol for three and a green. This is a 3-3. Three, three. When it uh, deals damage to one or more creatures, you get to investigate, and at the beginning of each end step, if you sacrifice three or more clues this turn, you may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. Uh, we have Briar Bridge Tracker for two and a green. This is a 2-3 with Vigilance. Whenever Briar Bridge Tracker enters the battlefield, you investigate. And as, lo as long as you control a token, Briar Bridge Tracker gets plus two, a plus O. Cyber Drive Awakener for five and a blue. It is a 4-4 four, four with flying. Other artifact creatures you control have flying. And whenever Cyber Drive Awakener enters the battlefield under your, er, until end of turn, each non-creature artifact you control becomes an artifact creature with base power and toughness. 4-4. Uh, four, four. Dugan, Private Detective, for two, a green, and a blue. This is a star star. His power and toughness are each equal to the number of cards in your hand. Whenever Dugan enters the battlefield or attacks, investigate. Uh, he also has the most important punch in history. For one and a green, you can tap him to have him deal damage equal to twice its power to another target creature. Activate only once. Emery, Lurker of the Lock, for two and a blue. It is a 1-2. It costs one less for each artifact you control. Uh, whenever it enters the battlefield, you uh, mill the top four cards of your library, and you can tap it to choose an artifact in your graveyard and cast it this turn. Erdwall Ill Illuminator. One and a blue for a 1-3. It has flying whenever you investigate. For the first time each turn, investigate an additional time. Ethereal Investigator for three and a blue. This is a 2-3 with flying. When Ethereal Investigator enters the battlefield, investigate X times where X is the number of opponents you have. And whenever you draw your second card each turn, create a 1-1 white spirit creature token with flying. Forensic Gadgeteer for two and a blue. It is a 2-3. Whenever you cast an artifact spell, investigate. Activated abilities of artifacts you control cost one less to activate. This effect cannot reduce the mana in that cost to less than one. Innocuous Researcher. For three and a green, this is a 3-4 with Parlay. When it attacks, each player reveals the top card of their library. 
For each non-land card revealed this way, you investigate. Then each player draws a card. At the beginning of your end step, you may untap all lands you control. If you do, you cannot cast spells until your next turn. Next up we have Jahira, Friend of the Forest. It is two and a green for a 2-3. Tokens you control have tap for green. Choose a background. Junkwinder for 5 and 2 blue. This is a 5-6 with affinity for tokens. Whenever a token enters the battlefield under your control, tap target non-land permanent an opponent controls. It doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. Kappa Cannoneer for 5 and a blue. This is a 4-4 four four with Improvise. It has Ward 4, and whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Kappa Cannoneer, and it can't be blocked this turn. Lanis, Cryptozoologist, for one green and one blue, it is a one-two. Whenever one, sorry, whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, investigate. You can tap this and sacrifice X clues. Target opponent reveals the top X cards of the library. You may put a non-land permanent card with mana value X or less from among them onto the battlefield under your control. That player puts the rest on the bottom of their library in a random order. Next up, we have Martha Jones for two and a blue. This is a 3-2. She has Woman Who Walked the Earth. When Martha Jones enters the battlefield, investigate. Whenever you sacrifice a clue, Martha Jones and up to one target creature uh, can't be blocked at this turn as Doctor's Companion. Peregrine Took for two and a green. This is a 2-3. If one or more tokens would be created under your control, those tokens plus an additional food token are created instead and you can sacrifice three foods to draw a card. Serenth Steel Seeker for one and a green. This is a one, two. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under your control, you look at the top card of your library. If it's a land card, you may put that card, or you may, yeah, put that card into your hand. If you don't put the card into your hand, you may put it into your graveyard. Shimmer Dragon for four and two blue. This is a five, six with flying. As long as you control four or more artifacts, Shimmer Dragon has hexproof, and you can tap two untapped artifacts you control to draw a card. Solemn Simulacrum for four. This is a two, two. When it enters the battlefield, search your library for a basic land card. Put that card onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library, and when it dies, draw a card. Tangle Trove Kelp for 5 and 2 blue. This is a 6-6 six, six with Ward 2. At the beginning of each combat, other clues you control become 6-6 six, six plant creature tokens in addition to their other types until end of turn, and you can pay 2 and sacrifice Tangle Trove Kelp to draw a card. Thought Monitor for 6 and a blue. It's a 2-2. Two, two. It has affinity for artifacts. It has flying, and when it enters the battlefield, draw 2 cards. Tireless Provisioner for 2 and a green. It is a 3-2 with Landfall. Uh, whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, you create you can create a food or a treasure token. Tireless Tracker. For two and a green, it has landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, investigate. And whenever you sacrifice a clue, put a plus one plus one counter on Tireless Tracker. Urza, Lord High Artificer. For two and two blue, this is a one four. Uh, when he enters the battlefield, you create a zero zero colorless construct uh, artifact creature token. This creature gets plus one plus one for each artifact you control. You can tap an untapped artifact you control for blue. You can pay five and shuffle your library, then exile the top card of your library until end of turn. You may play that card without paying its mana cost. And then finally, we have Wave Sifter for three, a green, and a blue. It's a three, two with flying. When it enters the battlefield, investigate twice. You can evoke it for a green and a blue. All right, next up is Instance. We're going to start with Beast Within for 2 and a green. Destroy target permanent. Its controller gets a 3-3 Beast token. Confirm Suspicion for 3 and 2 blue. Counter target spell. Investigate 3 times. Confront the Unknown for 1 green. Investigate. Then target creature gets a plus 1, plus 1 until end of turn for each clue you control. Counter spell for 2 blue. Counter target spell. Deduce for 1 and a blue. Tar draw a card and investigate. Growth Spiral for a green and a blue. Draw a card. Then you may play an additional land this turn. Hybrid Rapidization, sorry, Rapid Hybridization, wow, that was a Darwinism, uh, for blue, destroy target creature, it can't be regenerated, that creature's controller puts a 3-3 frog lizard creature token onto the battlefield, Secret of the Key, for one blue, investigate, uh, if this spell was cast from a graveyard, investigate twice instead, flashback for three and a blue. 
And next up is sorceries. We got Kodama, or sorry, Cultivate. For two and a green, two and a green, search your library for up to two basic land cards. Reveal those cards. Put one onto the battlefield, tapped, and the other into your hand. Then shuffle your library. Hard evidence for one blue. Create an O3 blue crab creature token. Then investigate. Kodama's Reach for two and a green. Search your library for up to two basic land cards. Reveal those cards. Put one onto the battlefield, tapped, then the other into your hand and shuffle. Nature's Lore for one and a green. Search your library for a forest card. Put that into your hand. Or sorry, put that onto the battlefield. Tap, then shuffle. Rise and Shine for one and a blue. Target non-creature artifact you control. Becomes a zero, zero artifact creature token. Put four plus one plus one. Sorry, not token. Creature. Put four plus one plus one counters on each artifact that becomes a creature this way. Overload for four and two blue. They went this way for two and a green. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it onto the battlefield. Tap, then shuffle and investigate. Thoughtcast for four and a blue affinity for artifacts. Draw two cards. And next up is artifacts. Uh, starting with Arcane Signet for two. You can tap this to add any mana of your color identity. 500 Year Diary for three and a blue. It enters tapped. Uh, you can tap it for uh, blue for each clue you control. And you can also tap two and sacrifice it to draw a card. Icar Wellspring. Uh, cost two when it enters the battlefield and leaves the battlefield you get to draw a card inspiring statuary for three non-artifact spells you cast have improvise uh, liquid metal coating for two you can tap this to have target permanent become an artifact in addition to its other types until end of turn liquid metal torque for two you can tap this for colorless or you can tap it to have target permanent become an artifact in addition to its other types until end of turn Mycosynth Wellspring, when this enters and leaves the battlefield, you may search your library for a basic land card, put it onto, into your hand, then shuffle. Uh, prized Statue, for two, when this enters and leaves the battlefield, uh, you get to create a treasure token. Uh, Simic Signet, for two, uh, you may pay one and tap this for green and blue. Uh, Soul Ring, for one, uh, you can tap this for two colorless. Uh, Swiftfoot Boots costs two. Equipped creature has hexproof and haste, and you can pay one to equip it. Talisman of Curiosity for two. Uh, you can tap this for colorless, or you can tap this for green and blue, and then have Talisman of Curiosity deal one damage to you. Uh, Tamiyo's Journal for five. At the beginning of your upkeep, investigate, and you can tap this and sacrifice three clues. Search your library for a card. Put that card into your hand, and then shuffle. And then finally we have Tarian Soul Cleaver for one equipped creature has Vigilance. Whenever another artifact or creature is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on equipped creature and it equips for two. Next up we have Enchantments. Starting with Mechanized Production for two and two blue Enchant Artifact you control. At the beginning of your upkeep create a token that is a copy of Enchanted Artifact. Then if you control eight or more artifacts... Uh, with the same name as another, uh, as one another, uh, you win the game. Ongoing investigation for one and a blue. Uh, whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, investigate. And for one and a green, you can exile a creature card from a graveyard to investigate and you gain two life. For one and a green, on the trail... Whenever you draw your second card each turn, you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield tapped. Parallel Lives for three and a green. If an effect would create one or more tokens you can, uh, under your control, create twice as many of those tokens instead. Teferi's Ageless Insight for two and two blue. If you would draw a card, except the first one you draw each of your turn during each of your draw steps, draw two cards instead. Uh, Ulvenwald Mysteries for two and a green. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, investigate. And whenever you sacrifice a clue, create a 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature token. And finally, Weirding Wood for two and a green. Uh, Enchant Land whenever... Sorry, when Weirding Wood enters the battlefield, investigate. And Enchanted Land has tap, add two mana of any one color to your mana pool. Next up is uh, Planeswalkers, and this one is a flavorful Planeswalkers, Planeswalker, because we have Oko, who happens to be Kellen's dad. Thief of Crowns, one, a green, and a blue for four loyalty. Uh, 
Its plus two is to create a food token. Its plus one is to have target artifact or creature lose all abilities and become a green elk creature with base power and toughness 3-3. Three, three. Its minus five is to exchange control of target artifact or creature you control and target creature an opponent controls with power three or less. Okay, lastly of the non-basic variety, we are going to look at non-basic lands. Breeding Pool, which is a shock land for blue-green. Command Tower, which taps for your color identity. Dark Steel Citadel, which is an artifact, is indestructible, is also a land that taps for colorless. We have Dream Root Cascade, which is a check land for blue-green. We have Exotic Orchard, which taps for whatever your opponent's lands can tap for. Flooded Grove, which is a uh, filter land for blue green hinterland harbor which is a check land for blue green uh, academy runes which taps for colorless or you can tap one a blue and tap it and put a target artifact card from your graveyard on top of your library rejuvenating springs which is a crowd land for blue green reliquary tower you have no maximum hand size you can tap this for colorless seat of synod which is an artifact a land taps for blue uh, simic growth chamber which is a bounce land for blue green Tangle, Tangle Pool Bridge, which is an artifact, a land, enters the battlefield tapped, is indestructible, and taps for green and blue. Temple of Mystery, which is a scry land for blue-green. Tree of Tales, which is an artifact, a land, and also taps for green. And then we have Yavamaya Coast, which is a pain land for blue-green. Next up is basic lands. Starting with forests, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have islands, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 islands. So that is the Kellen, um, what was this, Ingenious or Inquisitive Prodigy? The Simic version. Um, like I said, if they do a uh, Kellen in Thunder Junction, I will definitely do a fourth deck tech for that. Um, I just really like the fact that they kept doing Kellen in different colors and being able to kind of explore those was kind of fun. This one obviously is a lot about clue synergies. Uh, we have a ton of different ways to do clue related things. We, we have Rise and Shine and Cyber Drive Awakener for uh, a big token rush. We have Mechanized Production for a alternative win condition. We have tons of ways of taking advantage of putting extra lands onto the battlefield. Um, this deck has a lot of really fun, neat tech, but again, that is very, uh, typical of blue green. So if you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. Uh, keep it positive. I will remove negative comments. I think that's it guys. Until next time. Peace.